Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before in case this is your first time watching. Hi, I'm Leslie. I'm so glad to have you here. On my channel I talk about all things luxury in particular, handbags, um, but also like other stuff. I film haul videos, unboxings, reviews, shopping vlogs, travel vlogs from time to time. So if that sounds like a thing, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. Tonight I'm heading to an after hour shopping event in the Ulster house, which I did last year as well. I'm not sponsored by them. They don't know who I am. I purchased the ticket to get into the event all by myself. But yeah, last year was amazing. So I decided why not make it an annual thing and yeah. I'm gonna try to vlog as much as possible. Rumor has it there will be a Dior beauty pop-up store this time. Last year they had like a Christmassy Dior pop-up. This year supposedly Dior beauty, I'm not too sure about that yet because I went by the Ulster house a couple of days ago and there was like no sign of any kind of pop-up store being built, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. I still have like 20 minutes to go until I have to leave, so I figured I might as well A, show you what I'm wearing and B, also unbox Whoop, a little something down there. All right, I realized I desperately need a full length mirror in this room, but yeah, we're just gonna um, wing it like that. So wearing the O'Kelly earrings, these are usually like, or like the full set comes with a leather portion behind the locks, but you can just detach them. And I actually prefer to wear them without the leather because the leather part, I got them in the rose azuri color, beautiful but it's on the lighter side when it comes to the color and it definitely rubs off on my makeup um, yeah, on the side. So not the biggest fan of that, but yeah, I love them plain. Anyways, so uh, these are in rose gold, by the way. I think I filmed a like whole um, first impression kind of video. I'm gonna link that um, in the eye up here or there and in the description box below. Um, the dress I'm wearing is from Zara, like, Frilly. And by the way, if you hear any kind of like dangly noise, this is the like, oh, now I detached it, the belt situation and over the knee boots, which you're probably not able to see, but yeah, you get the idea. And I think before I run out of time, I'm quickly going to unbox these down there. Okay, quick voiceover because the footage that I got when I actually received the parcel, um, I got it delivered to my office, was a lot better when it comes to the colors and stuff because it was filmed in like natural daylight. So I purchased an umbrella, which is so unnecessary and over the top, but yeah, I mean, uh, the Valentino and Pantone collaboration was on the cheaper-ish side. So I think I paid like 50 bucks for the umbrella and it came in like a full-sized box, which was a little over the top, but I'm not complaining. Anyway, super unnecessary, but um, yeah, I figured why not. The outside is pink and when you are standing beneath the umbrella, it's actually black on the inside. And unboxing number two is kind of a welcome back to my closet uh, situation because these earrings aren't new. I purchased them in the Saint-Tropez boutique last year in September. So they were a little over a year old when I sadly had to realize that I'm missing two crystals on one of the earrings. So I had to take them in for repair and it wasn't my first rodeo. I mean, on these, it was my first time, but on another pair of Chanel earrings, I think I had to take them in for repair like two or three times already. Anyway, free of charge and it only took two weeks. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And now let's go to the event. I realized I didn't even show you which bag I ended up going for. So yeah, I decided to take my Saint Laurent Sac de Jour in the baby size. My outlet score, definitely check out my The Mall Firenze outlet shopping vlogs. I filmed two parts and also of course my outlet haul. I purchased two Saint Laurent bags and I couldn't be happy about them. Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like the way you reflect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end
We also decided to quickly stop by Fendi. We don't have a standalone Fendi boutique, but they have like a small concession in the arts house, pretty small, and the stock isn't like that great. But they did have two bags from the 25th anniversary collection. So this like sequin one and also kind of like a cheetah print one. Um, I'm usually not that much of a fan of animal prints. So that was a no for me. And the sequin one, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings in particular if you're a diehard Fendi fan. I don't know. I think I'm just too boring for those kinds of bags. In case you weren't able to tell, unless I'm on vacation, I actually suck at vlogging. So that's it already for the Ulster House event. I don't know, I didn't really get to filming that much. By the way, talking about vacation and like travel vlogs, I will be in London pretty soon. And I'm extremely excited for all the like Christmas decor and lights everywhere on Regent Street, Oxford Street, Covent Garden. Harrods looks amazing. I booked a ticket for the Dior Cafe and the Dior exhibition. Anyway, what I'm getting to is I will definitely vlog the entire thing. So be on the lookout for the vlogs to come. Anyway, so um, I decided to throw in this like extra bit because at the beginning of the video, you might have spotted a like glittery blazer hanging like on the side of my <laughs> closet. So yeah, that's also from Zara. Perfect for the holiday season. So yeah, there's that. And I also met up with my parents actually the day after the shopping event. And we decided to go to a fairground, the Hamburger Dome, which is I think three times a year for like one month at a time, something like that. So yeah, that was super fun and definitely gave me like childhood throwback vibes. But yeah, I guess that does it for today's video. A bit of a random one and a little all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, I would really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. As I mentioned, be on the lookout for a lot of London content. And I promise I will also get back into regular sit down video uploads. But yeah, before I keep you any longer, thanks so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye.